everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, today's video is going to be on a project that we do in my class. It's the, one of the Lego Mindstorms projects, um, and it's called the Gyro Boy. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, where the cables go, because I know that's a huge issue. You use seven cables for the project. So I'm going to show you exactly where they go so the Gyro Boy works. And then after you program the Gyro Boy, I'm going to show you what all four colors uh, make the gyro boy do in the ultrasonic sensor. So uh, yeah, it's a great project. It's a really neat one to watch him balance. And uh, let's make sure that he works. So let's go with the cables and the colors and we'll get this uh, project started. All right, let's go. Okay, everyone, this is the gyro boy project right here. Um, you're gonna use uh, seven cables, like I said. Um, it begins off by balancing on its stand like that. Uh, definitely give it 10 to 20, maybe even 30 seconds to after you press uh, the 001 program for it to start to balance. It's basically just needing time to calibrate and, and uh, for the gyro sensor to realize what you know perfectly balanced is. Um, so it's uh, started, um, I mean the brick is on, so let's go to the cables and figure out where you need to have everything. Okay, so here I am on the brick. I'm going to go to port view and basically show you what you need to see in your port view. So I'm going to click that. All right, so number one, um, in port one, you need to have your color sensor. Number two, you're supposed to have your gyro sensor. Uh, my students seem to be, a lot of them are getting two and three mixed up. So if your gyro boy does not work, check that again. Two needs to be your gyro sensor. Three needs to be the touch. And four uh, needs to be your ultrasonic sensor. So there are your numbered uh, ports. Let's now go to uh, your lettered ports. Okay, for your lettered ports, uh, you can almost do this visually. And it's pretty simple um, to locate and see. All right, so the motor here on the left side of your robot uh, we'll need to go up in here to D. So what's nice about the uh, large motor uh, cables is they're going to go to the side that they're on. So again, D is going to go here to the left motor. And then if I flip this around, it'll be the same thing on the other side. So this right motor right here, this right large motor, will go straight into A. So again, that's nice to uh, remember just set uh, the large motors on either side is gonna, are going to go into either A or D, depending on what side they're on. And then, visually it's easy to see here, is that your medium motor right here will go straight into C. So let's go ahead and turn this on and we'll find out what each of the four colors do and what the ultrasonic sensor does. Okay, so there we have our Gyro Boy file. And go ahead and select it, and then we want 001. And like I said, you're going to have to give this some time to start, start up. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our colors, and then we can go ahead and you can figure out what each color does. So we show it yellow. So yellow is going to be a counterclockwise spin. I'm going to let him rotate around and we'll show you what red does. Okay, so we show it red. And red is going to basically make him stop, pause, uh, hold that position. Now we're going to go to blue. And blue is going to have him go into a clockwise spin or turn. So the last color we have is green. So let me show him green. And green has him going forward. I better stop him before he gets too out of control. And then let's go ahead and show you what happens if you put something in front of his ultrasonic sensor. So he's got a nice arm wiggle. So 
So there you go, our really neat gyro boy. Um, so hopefully you get all the cables in the correct spots so you can have him function like this and you can uh, again show him all the colors of his stand uh, to make him operate. Alright guys, so there's your gyro boy. Thank you for watching. Um, I am Mr. Hino. I'm out.